Welcome to Metallurgical Engineering YouTube channel. Stay safe and stay healthy. Today we are going to discuss about fatigue fracture, it's very important concept to understand because around 90% failures of metallic structures is due to fatigue. Let's start the video. Fatigue failure is metallic structures are a well-known technical problem, already in 19th century several serious fatigue failures were reported like Versailles train crash in 1942, the Boston molasses disaster in 1919, the Havilland comet plane crashes in 1954, Alexander L. P. Elland oil plate form in 1980 and Xjede train disaster in 1998. So we need to understand the fatigue fracture to avoid such accidents in future. What is fatigue fracture? A fatigue fracture is a material failure that occurs as a result of excessive cyclic loading. Prior to final fatigue fracture, many different micro features are created and eventually the repeated dynamic propagates the cracks. Like in figure, it's shown that initiation period and crack growth period. Many terms are used in describing the fatigue fracture, like mean stress, range of stress, stress amplitude and stress ratio. Mean stress is equal to maximum stress plus minimum stress divided by 2. Range of stress is difference between maximum and minimum stress. Stress amplitude is half of range of stress. Stress ratio is maximum stress divided by minimum stress. These terms can be seen in the figure also. A fatigue fracture is caused when a stress is applied, then removed, then reapplied. This process can repeat millions of times before a fatigue fracture is significant enough to cause material failure. Every time the stress is reapplied, micro cracks on the surface of the material are allowed to grow. Once the growth of these micro cracks and the stress applied is sufficient, one or more of the cracks will propagate throughout the thickness of material, this ultimately results in material or component failure. These failures are observed using scanning electron microscope. As you've seen here the microstructure example, fatigue failures can be seen in striations and beach marks forms. Fatigue fracture is determined by many variables. Material selection is very important. For example, aluminum has less fatigue resistance than a material such as steel. SN curves are derived from fatigue tests. Tests are performed by applying a cyclic stress with constant amplitude CA, on specimens until failure of the specimen. A SN curve is a plot of the magnitude of an alternating stress versus the number of cycles to failure for a given material. Metile like steel has fatigue threshold or endurance limit while aluminum has not any specific endurance limit as shown in figure. There are three stages of fatigue failure. 1. Crack initiation in the areas of stress concentration, near stress raises. 2. Incremental crack propagation. 3. Final rapid crack propagation after crack reaches critical size. Fatigue properties of a material, SN curves, are tested in, rotating bending tests, in fatigue testing apparatus, as shown in figure. Result is commonly plotted as S, stress versus N, number of cycles to failure. What is the low cycle and high cycle fatigue? Low cycle fatigue, high loads, plastic and elastic deformation. High cycle fatigue, low loads, elastic deformation, n greater than 10 to the power 5. How to prevent fatigue failures? We will do four things for reducing or prevent the fatigue failures. 1. Polishing, removes machining flaws etc. 2. Case hardening like create C or N rich outer layer in steels by atomic diffusion from the surface. Makes harder outer layer and also introduces compressive stress. 3. Introducing compressive stresses compensate for applied tensile stresses, into thin surface layer by, shot peening, is firing small shot into surface to be treated. 4. Optimizing geometry like avoid internal corners, notches etc. and high-tech solutions such as ion implantation, laser peening. I hope you have understood the FAGA failures and its prevention methods, if you have any doubts please write your questions on comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe our channel.